Another way of looking at it is through what we call anatomical slings. It's the same thing. It's where muscles integrate with fascia and relate across multiple joints. So we have, for example, the anterior oblique sling, where the external oblique muscle crosses the midline via the linear alba into the internal oblique muscle on the opposite side, and then all the way into the adductor muscles of that opposite side. And if you look at the fiber direction, you'll note that the muscles follow a consistent fiber direction. It's a matter of having your body in the position that takes advantage of that fiber direction when you're involved in movement to allow sharing of load, sharing of force, transfer of energy. And you'll see this beautifully when someone's performing a throw. So if we look at the javelin thrower, it's not just an arm action, it's a whole body action. The javelin thrower strides out with that left leg that puts on stretch the anterior oblique sling when the arm's taken back and the trunk's rotated away from that leg, meaning things are wind up. The deep front arm line is also under extreme tension. And that means you can now release that energy elastically with everything coordinating and force being shared right across the body to take force from the foot all the way through to the hand that's throwing the javelin to propel it through space.